Hey guys, how you going? It's Laz here. And uh, just quickly, if you have a look, I'm on the top there, TPC, Lazman666. As you can see, I've got no coverage whatsoever. I've got no bars. Everyone else is on at least a 1 to a 4 or 5 bar here in this game. I've got nothing. So my hit detection is absolute puffs, pretty much. Doesn't matter. Something different. I thought I'd give you guys something different for change. I've... <laughs> Got on this for the first time in a, in a while, and it actually had nearly a 256 megabyte update. So it took me a little while to update it, and I thought, you know, I've waited that long, I might as well jump on and play. So if you haven't noticed, it is Drake's Fortune Uncharted 3. Uh, this is online. Now, there's a couple reasons why I don't like the online play. Now, the third person is not a problem. I mean, as you can see, I do suck at it, but apart from that, um, could not get a good game at all. For some reason, it just not hooked me up with any other Aussies. It was all like American games or English games or just other countries where I had the worst possible connection. But that aside, the game was still quite enjoyable. I have to say, I do enjoy... Now, watch this. This, here's, this is a good example right here. Now, this guy, my teammate, actually dies. Right? Ready? He dies, but I shoot him last, yet he gets the kill. Don't know how that works, but whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was, you know, I wanted to play something different. I do like third-person shooters. They're not too bad. I did really enjoy Max Payne 3. I thought that was awesome online. It's quite smooth. Um, I just enjoyed it. It's good. Um, this, on the other hand, is a little bit sluggish. It is a little bit of an older game, of course. Um, I have played Drake's Fortune Uncharted 2 on PS3 online as well. Didn't mind that. It was similar to this. Um, the only good thing was I had really good connections. Like there was a lot of Aussies playing at the time. I don't know what, but yeah, it's just it's not a very popular online game. However, it, most people would not buy it for the online. Uh, most people would buy it for the story mode, which is absolutely epic. Um, and I've, where did I see it? <clears throat> On Facebook, we've got a PSN Spirit thing. There's a uh, few guys started that. Snow Cody and uh, who was it? Destroyer. Destroyer, King Destroyer started that up in a little group on Facebook to, to get posting and that and someone, I can't remember your name, uh, I don't even want to, no offence, but I don't want to even try and say a name because I'd probably get it wrong anyways, but he asked, uh, is it worth getting and uh, yeah, for the story mode, definitely worth getting. Um, uh, mind you, I've only played probably uh, not much, I'm only up to uh, I think Act 5 or fifth level or whatever it, what, however you want to call it fifth level whatever it is and uh, I kind of got stuck in when I get stuck in story games like that I kind of put them away for a while and I actually lent it to my mate and I got it back and you know I was like yeah I'll jump on and have another crack still couldn't pass the level it's the, the level where you, uh, the house is on fire or whatever and it's all falling down you got to get out I couldn't still couldn't do it so I thought I'll jump online and have a crack and uh, when I first got the game I jumped straight online to have a go of it and it was actually pretty good, I was getting some good uh, good lobbies, I wasn't hosting or anything like that but at least I had, you know, a couple of bars connection, green, so it was not too bad and I just like the fact that you can cover, you can hang from stuff and shoot, it's just, it's, it is, it's an awesome, yeah, well, I kind of really do enjoy the, the online side of it, I, I did enjoy it, it just... Never could I get a good game to actually play with good hit markers. Like I was always getting hit markers or hit protection, and then another guy would pump, turn around, pump two bullets in me, and I'd die. So it kind of got frustrating in that way. But apart from that, it's just yeah, it was awesome fun. I enjoyed it. But yeah, like I said, this this game is more purely for the the story mode. Um, the online is okay. It does work <laughs> sometimes. Uh, a couple of the plunder ones, that was good, not too bad, where you actually have to get a central artifact and bring it back to your base and use it basically fighting over that. And that's, that's a good idea, I didn't mind it, it was, it was good. A good break from Call of Duty, which I have been playing a little bit of lately, but still find it hard to get uh, some, uh, you know, find it hard to just get back into it. It's, I've kind of seen a few more uh, trailers for Black Ops and like, yeah, I want to get it now. So, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm probably going to get it on both consoles as well, so <laughs> should be good. But yeah, so basically with this one, guys, I just really did want to put something up different. I haven't played any of this or posted any of this on my channel yet. <coughs> you have seen, uh, well, if you have been watching my videos, you have seen, uh, what was it, Max Payne 3? That was up there, and that was all multiplayer, and that was 
it was kind of like a little bit of a review kind of thing. But um, I really enjoyed Max Payne, and especially playing it online with my mate. It was it was great fun. I mean, it was similar to this. It was hard to get into a lobby, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it. And the third person shooters are quite enjoyable when they work. Uh, another one I wouldn't mind trying is uh, Ghost Recon 2 or Future Warfare or whatever it is. That looks pretty uh, pretty much the same. Obviously, it's going to play a lot different because it's it's been designed also for online play. This was this has been designed for online play, but just yeah, it doesn't quite do it for me but uh, you get that another one I'm looking forward to doing is or getting as well is uh, oh, when it comes out I don't think it's coming out to 2013 or 2014 I don't know when it's actually coming out is Grand Theft Auto 5 that looks awesome <laughs> I've played a bit of uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 online with mate and it's, it, seriously you get it joining to like lobbies where there's just mad people going around just doing you know just mucking around it's good fun and it's just so much carnage, you know, it's, it's awesome, I love it, it's good fun trying to do missions and stuff like that as well, but, I don't know, at the end of the day, I think I'd still prefer to play first person shooters, that's, you know, where I really enjoy playing games with the first person shooters, so, uh, but yeah, like I said, third person, something like this, just something different for a change, you know what I mean, uh, also got into playing a bit of Medal of Honor as well on the weekend, so I've got a couple of games of that as well, that's another one, I don't know, I'm definitely getting it, uh, the new one. I think it's going to be uh, way more improved, obviously, because it's, you know, it's what, nearly been two years, two, three years or something since the original one came out. So they've made a lot of difference. They've got the Frostbite 2 engine from, obviously, Battlefield 3 and stuff like that. So it's going to be pretty epic as well. So uh, that's another one I'm definitely getting, I'm really looking forward to. So uh, you'll definitely see some gameplays of that up. Uh, there's a few things I hope they kind of fix with it. I hope they get the uh, servers and stuff pretty good. I hope you can pick your own servers and stuff. Cause, I mean, at the moment, I can't really say anything bad about it, but Medal of Honor at the moment, when it first came out, it was pretty good. You could get pretty good games as well, but in this one, well, Medal of Honor, the, the one that's out, uh, well, now, uh, it's not too bad. Um, I'm struggling to get decent games with it. <coughs> Um, but I mean, I suck pretty bad at the game anyways, which you'll, you'll probably see anyways. I'm going to do like a, not so much a breakdown of the trailer. You're going to have my gameplay up of Medal of Honor. And uh, also I'm going to be putting snippets and little videos of the trailers that they've got in. And just give little updates and stuff as well. So hopefully you guys might be interested in having a look at that. Something different from all the Black Ops videos that everyone keeps posting, which is whatever. I don't know what happened there. Something, I think I got blown up, but it well, doesn't matter. It's all good. I'm dying a fair bit there, guys. Yeah, sorry. It is not the greatest of gameplay. I think I go uh, finish up 8 and 10, which is pretty, pretty dismal. Um, but like I said, the connection was pretty, well, I was going to say pretty average. It just wasn't even a connection at all, pretty much. It was saying that I had no connection whatsoever. So I uh, hopefully I wasn't lagging too much on these guys' screen. They would have been cursing me otherwise. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, guys, so I'm, gonna, I'm trying to do some uh, different stuff on my channel too. As if, you've, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been doing a lot of MotoGP games, and uh, I'm really enjoying doing those. Something different. I'm trying to split it up a little bit more about, um, you know, talking about memories that I have when I was riding. Not when I was riding, but uh, stuff that I was riding when my um, dad would ride, and I'd jump on the back of his BM and we'd go riding. I'm talking about stories like that, and uh, and then actual real facts about tracks and riders and stuff as well. So I'm trying to mix it, mix it up a little bit because it is probably going to be a three season three season show that I'm doing because obviously you've got the 125s, 250s and 500 so I want to break it up so I do have enough uh, fact, factual stuff to uh, all the you know tracks and riders to talk about because if I say them all in one one season you know I'm not going to have anything to really talk about in the next ones unless you want me to talk about my experiences on bikes and stuff like that which I'm doing anyway so it should be good I'm kind of getting off topic now. I was meant to be talking a bit more about this but uh, I kind of went off but yeah guys overall this game is epic story best story game that I've played for a while uh, I have been playing Witcher as well which is another good story but it's more of an RPG but this just tells awesome stories I've played all three games and I've enjoyed all three of them as well. Uh, I've only played the two online, which is two and three. Um, two was fun. I had my mate, he had the game, and it was good co-op and everything like that. It was awesome. Um, third online's kind of let down. It is a bit of an older game now, so it's you're not finding as many good games as you possibly could. But you get that. doesn't matter. Um, but yeah. 
I enjoyed it. So it's something different. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, if you do, give it a like. Even just give it a comment. I'd love to just get some feedback from you guys. Anyways, thanks very much, guys. And we'll catch you next time. Cheers.